Yakaluit's mayor says some male Inuit leaders see sexual harassment as a perk of work travel. Madeline Redford raised the issue at a federal committee hearing on the status of women. As CBC's Sarah Frizzell reports, Redfern is facing backlash for her comments. Madeline Redfern said she received death threats after speaking out about sexual harassment. She says she knows dozens of women who've been victimized by male Inuit leaders while traveling for work, including herself. It's tough. It, uh, um, you recall instantly individual instances and that you're away from your own support network. You're away from your spouse. Uh, and that you're very vulnerable in a community that is not home. She's heard the abuse ranges from unwanted invitations to rape. For some in positions of power, they see it as, you know, an automatic benefit or perk of the job. Um, it's quite shocking. Redfern later clarified her statement to the House of Commons Standing Committee, saying she meant only some male leaders. Still, Nunavut Premier Joe Savikatuk said he disagreed with how she spoke out. That blanket statement is not only on male Inuit, but it's also on, on the females too. I feel it's a very negative comment that was made, and I'm sure there's instances where it's true, but we should all not be painted with the same brush. He says he was unaware of the issue, but the government of Nunavut doesn't tolerate it, and there are reporting systems in place for sexual harassment. Sarah Frizzell, CBC News, Iqaluit. Nunavut's minister responsible for the status of women is responding to Madeline Redford's comments. Elizabeth Shutapik said she was disappointed Iqaluit's mayor pointed specifically to Inuit men in power. I appreciate she's uh, made it vocal uh, that we're no different, but I think the approach would have been and that it's, you know, she's retracted in the sense of saying some. I think it would have been non-issue if she had made that, you know, statement of, you know, there's a Me Too movement going on globally and it's no different in our backyard as opposed to, uh, I didn't see any statement of the Me Too movement in her presentation. Uh, and the fact that she singled Inuit men leaders, um, it's unfortunate. When Shu Tiapik was mayor of Iqaluit, she says she was harassed while on duty travel. She reported the incident. The perpetrator was a non-Inuit male bureaucrat. She said the reporting mechanisms in place are sufficient, but the culture needs to change, and both men and women need to be taught from a young age that harassment is not acceptable. Harry Flaherty is president of the Inuit-owned Kikikdalu Corporation. He was quick to respond to Madeline Redfern's comments, calling them unfair. She seemed to single out Inuit men as sexual harassers, although she did try to clarify it later. And yes, I totally agree sexual harassment of any type should not and will not be tolerated in a workplace. I feel she has targeted Inuit men when perhaps she should have indicated all men. Flaherty is urging Redfern to apologize to Inuit men. Well, clearly a lot of opposition to what the mayor has said, but there's also lots of support. This story has quite a few comments on CBC North's Facebook page. Here are a couple of people who are behind Madeline Redfern. Tara Maria says, keep speaking your truth. You will be supported despite the hardships that come with it. Sad world we're in today. And here's what Suzanne Innangayok Ukpik said about it all. Stand tall, Mayor. Keep speaking the truth. I stand with you. What do you think? Are you behind the Mayor or do you think she's gone too far? We always want to hear your feedback on stories you see on North Beat. Visit our website, contact us on Twitter or Facebook, or reach us by calling 1-866-271-9957.